Greetings and welcome back to the World Numismatic News' Buffalo Nickel Varieties You Should Know, Episode 7. The Buffalo Nickel was designed by James L. Frazier, an artist primarily known for his work as a sculptor, but he was also responsible for the designs of the World War I Victory Medal and the 1925 North American Medal as well. So, as the designer of the Buffalo Nickel, he was therefore entitled to discreetly place his initials on said design. In this case, it is a small capital letter F just below the date on the obverse of the coin. However, on our current variety coin, that F is missing completely. There are some coins known with only a week or potentially partially missing F as well, but in order to qualify for this FS401 designation, there needs to be no trace of the F whatsoever as seen in the current example. In 2021, a coin like this graded and slapped by PCGS with a grade of MS64 was sold at auction for $504. From there, we jump ahead nearly a decade, well, more than a decade really, to 1927, where the Denver Mint delivers a solid repunched mint mark variety for us to find. Technically, although a triple punched mint mark, as this is the 1927D over D over D coin, the exact sequence is not certain, but it does seem that the initial D was placed far too low, or stated otherwisely, nearer to the rim. The second impression was then placed almost touching the letter E of 5, and then finally the mint mark was positioned in the, well, Goldilocks position, where we see it now. The remnants of the first two punchings still being seen towards the top, and the bottom of the D. In 2019, there was a coin, this time graded VF20, that appeared at auction that was sold for $144. 1919 hosts our next coin, and this time we are looking at a double die obverse example of the buffalo nickel. This is a fairly recent discovery, relatively speaking, and considering that the series is, well, now over a century old. But back to the matter at hand, the doubling on this coin can be spotted on the date, particularly on the last number 9, which is labelled as the, well, veritable calling card of this variety. Furthermore, the tip of the large feather is also doubled. There is more minor doubling present elsewhere on the design as well, such as at the ends of the uh, hair ribbon, for instance, but the main features are the ones already mentioned previously. During 2016, a variety matching this description was sold at auction graded as PCGS MS64 for an astounding $12,925. Subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the bell icon to know when new videos are released. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman Singh. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, keep collecting, and have a fantastic day.